What was the biggest bet you ever made? Oh God Almighty! Um, I don't know. I, I one time, I, the, I mean, the most I lost in one night where because three times I've lost everything that I've ever had. How do you do that? I mean, not, not morally, but I mean, like, how, how do you physically lo- do it? Well, yeah, I mean, like you know, you you like you make one more. Like, what is the process of that? What's the evolution? It's it, funny because it's a. a the only time I ever went to a psychiatrist, he said, like, I was like, because it was for gambling. I was yeah. like, how the fuck do I get out of this? And he's like, oh, you gamble to avoid uh, life, you know? And I'm like, but my, my my thing was, well, isn't that why you do everything in life is to <laughs> fucking avoid it? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, It's I too know, painful. Yeah. yeah. Like, why, why do you? So I said, uh, but oh, it's painful to think about, but because uh, um, now it would be nice to have the money. But... Um, you just lose it by, uh, by, it's just like any escape, I guess. Cause I was never a drug or alcohol guy, but like when I watch a game and I have a bunch of money on it, then I can understand what's going on. Nothing's ambivalent or anything about it, you know? And there's, and there's stakes. There's stakes. You know exactly the rules. Yeah. You're completely involved and you're completely escaped from your life. Yeah. Of the, of the real, yeah. the real, um, the real fear, you know. I'd, I'd rather fear losing money on a football game than uh, ruminate all fucking night about uh, about my upcoming uh, show illness. Yeah, of oh, oh, that. Yeah, no, not my show. No, my biggest problem is ruminating about death. If I could get over that somehow, and you do that regularly, I try to. I read fucking books about it and shit. Have you read that Becker book? Uh, Denial of Death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's book. my favorite book in the world. Oh, it is? Yeah, I, I have both. I have all his books. That's I, I'm, I'm getting his newsletter. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. The, the right. Becker Foundation. It's helped me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, th- well, that, uh, the whole idea of that is the, the transference thing, that, you know, you know, to feel part of something bigger than yourself to right. define your life, and you can do with that what you want. I mean, it's better if it's God than gambling, I think, in some God way. is the best. Yeah. So I mean, what, I, 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 that's what I'm trying to get to is God. But. Well, let's go, like, let's get, let's get, let's, get, let's get, get to God piecemeal. So, like, you still haven't walked me through losing everything. <laughs> well, um, how you do it? Physically? Yeah, because like, I mean, because like, you know, you've got a house, you've, you had a lot of money saved up and, 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 and then like, so you make one bet and then you realize you're, you're about to lose everything. Do you make phone calls to people saying like, I just need a little more? I mean. Well, you know, you kind of at the end of it, you know, uh, it's happening. It's, I guess it's like, I've, I've never had substance abuse problems, but I guess it's like people that, um, know they're going to hit bottom, mm-hmm. you know? And kind of want it, yeah. Because it does get it, it, it's exhausting, yeah, to be obsessed with something, right? So um, you are, I guess, um, trying to do it, trying to finish it off, right? Finally, because right. if you if you have four hundred fifty thousand in the bank, yeah. whatever the fuck it was, and then you lose four hundred thousand, you go fuck it. I don't want to fucking have fifty thousand, right? <laughs> <laughs> to remind me that I don't want money to remind me that I have I more money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you do it. So that's how you do it. Yeah. And you did that three times. Three times in my life. Yeah. And and how long have you been off it? Um, I've been off it like probably five years or so. Yeah. And you're trying to get uh, some spirituality in your life. I'm trying to because all I uh, the only real joy I get uh, other than I love watching comedy, but uh, anything deeper than that is I uh, read a lot of literature and stuff. I'm not. I'm not educated, like I never had any schooling, uh-huh. and I don't read nonfiction much. But I read lots of literature, uh-huh. and um, like who? Uh, Tolstoy, oh yeah, yeah. Faulkner. But the um, faith keeps coming up. And yeah. I'm like these motherfuckers are smart. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I was, I was like, you know, uh, Pryor's this fucking most deep, profound guy I yeah. ever fucking heard. You know, yeah. from my limited perspective. And then all of a sudden, I'm reading books. I'm like, holy fuck. This guy knows everything. Like yeah. I was reading Tolstoy, I was like, "Fuck, one word, yeah. one sentence." This guy, <laughs> and so, uh, but then I was like, "Why are all these guys?" Uh, it all comes down to faith, you know. It seems to every fucking great novel I read, it seems like faith is the the only um, um, salvation. Yeah. So, but I don't know how to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I don't know how to just suddenly believe or surrender. Like, yeah, I don't know yeah. how to do that. I'm not. I'm too, I don't know, I'm too uh, stupid or proud or pretend I'm smart or whatever. Or afraid. Probably afraid, yeah. Yeah. To sur- it's, yeah, to surrender, it's hard. 
It's it's like this equation that your brain has to do where you realize that you have very little control over anything. That yes. that moment where you realize, like, you know, just about all of it is out of my control. Yeah. And it, it, there's only two things you can do in that moment, which is either I'm fucked or yeah. <laughs> it's okay. And And yeah. how you support it's okay is with some kind of faith. I guess, yeah. I, 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 because I've come to it a long time ago that I have no control over anything, but I, I, <clears throat> I've been struggling with faith. I, I'll just throw myself into, um, religion sometimes, but the problems with that is, uh, then you get into churches and stuff, and then you get into men and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And, and then you go, oh, it's, it's very easy to fall into the trap of going, like, religion's bad. I mean, I mean, God's bad because, this fucking pr- priest fucked a kid, which yeah. is retarded. You know right. what I mean? Why does that make God bad? It doesn't right. make any fucking sense. It just means the people that represent him. Are yeah, yeah, real yeah, yeah. Questionable. So, so um, you know, so then if you go into any church, obviously it's led by fallible men, and uh, you, you can't believe in them. So you got to kind of come, you know, come to it yourself somehow. But I really, I don't have the answer of how you do that or anything. Where are you at with it now? I don't know. I, the only thing I've ever explored is, is Christianity. I, you know, and that kind of I liked it, yeah, but it's just extremely hard to to keep believing it's really fucking hard, yeah, <laughs> you know because <laughs> yeah. uh it's the hardest thing to believe, and I think I'm not deep enough, I don't know if that's true i I, I think that you know j- just by nature of the fact that you're a comedian and that part of the way you understand things is by cutting through bullshit uh-huh. you know with jokes, I mean especially you, I mean you cut through bullshit. I mean, you know, you call bullshit on just about anything, you know, very concisely and in a very funny way that when you're sitting here trying to sort of like y- you stay uh, in in a place of faith into the, you know, the, you know, the sort of the Jesus thing and the, you know, the, and, and whatever you're choosing to hang that faith on, there's going to be part of you that thinks like, that's just bullshit. There is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it's specific like that. Yeah. But then I don't want to be a fucking idiot that goes like, you know, sometimes you meet people, they're like, I'm spiritual. You're like, what? Yeah. They're like, I have my own thing. Yeah. I'm like, you, what? you work at Burger King. You figured out a fucking whole thing by yourself? Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> they, they, they've got their own thing that enables them to work at Burger King without hanging themselves. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I'm not going to certainly, if I'm not going to accept Christianity, I'm not going to accept some fucking 17 year old girl's fucking idea. Well, maybe you should just get a job at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the humility of that will, will, uh, will shed a little light. It's like, it, cause it's exactly the same feeling I think you probably had when, uh, when you had to deal with the blind guy. That, you know, there's something, you know, outside of you. There's there's bigger struggles that are had by many people, and they they seem to survive. I've actually run. thought about working with blind people because because I look back on that time, and it really it was the first time you really look outside yourself. It's pretty incredible the things that you observe, even as a, a writer or anything. I think it would be incredibly important. Well, I think that's important for like a, a spiritual thing too, is to not think about yourself first. Yeah, I think most spiritual people, I, I think you're exactly right. Yeah, and but I think a lot of people go, that's the way to find it is to look inside yourself. But I think you're right. I think it's not. It's to look outside. It's a, it's to try to get past your ego. Yeah, to to get that thing hammered down to to almost nothing to where you you actually think about the better of somebody else over yourself yeah and that's right holy fuck i would never be able to do that right well that's very contrary to like there's this other whole movement now the positive thinking people all you gotta do is throw that switch man (laughs) everything's okay (laughs) hey don't be negative (laughs) i I fucking can't deal with that shit but you got but you can see in acting or in comedy that that works i know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> like the person that goes hey man i'm cool everything's gonna be good and it is yeah <laughs> yeah and that's like it's it's horrendous but is it really i mean just because you're denying your flaws and you know everything else i mean you can sort of fake it till you make it or there's a lot of slogans act as if whatever yeah. it is but but still it's like you know they say that eventually this will just kick in in earnest yeah. yeah, until one day you're like, it's not kicking in, yeah, and this yeah, is yeah. fucked up, and you guys misled me, and fuck all of you. All right. The truth is, it's dark and horrible, and we die alone. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the, 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 what is it called? If, what? Act as if. Act as if. I, I guess I understand what that would mean, yeah. Sure. But act as if, yeah, but all these books and all these things, 
you know, the bowel cancer hasn't read the book. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't read anything. They're fucking read cancers. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, 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 whenever someone, like, you know, when people start talking about organs, I fucking check out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can handle a lot of dark shit. You know, I can fulfill my head with stuff. But when people start saying, like, I had kidney failure, I'm like, oh, God. Oh, no. Nothing. Yeah. That's why those fucking the scariest movies always to me were the like the Cronenberg movies. Oh, it was always the inside. I, yeah, I was, I was I was thinking about the fly recently. Yeah. I, like, where that moment where he's like where he's climbing up the wall and he's like pretty weird, huh? Yeah. You're like, oh god. No, and, the uh, and then when he breaks apart and there's a giant fly inside him, can we turn this around somehow to end this thing? <laughs> It's like my act when I do my act. Yeah. I never think of a fucking ending. Like yeah. A, like I just a, trickle like a off. <laughs> just yeah. fucking. Me too. Just unravel. I, I guess this yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> it's we terrible. good? You done? It's terrible. You guys feel okay with the, what happened here? Every week I go, why didn't I think of something?